like that. <laughs> I'm like, I'll throw a jab here or two. I'll be like, I don't know if I deserve all that money and critical acclaim, and I'll run, I'll get out of there. I don't be coming for a diamond's neck like that. I'll, I'll appreciate this. <laughs> this is not Tagashi. She hey, Tagashi? Man. No love. Zero. I'm, I'm, I'm a wounded dog, okay? <laughs> These last, this last year? Everybody so and the fucking mom turned on Yaya. I was like, damn. Yeah, the final arc, not the, I mean, not the final arc, the final fight, not the best. But that doesn't mean this entire art was garbage. Like, I don't know where that came from. I had me fighting for my life defending that shit. I was, I was pretending to tune it out. I was like, bro, your criticism don't mean nothing. This shit's selling. I was, power, <laughs> I I was powering up. <laughs> you said that movie gonna drop and opinions finna change. Yup. And Lord behold. Everybody and their mama went to go see that fucking movie. It's alright, man. I always win. Eventually, niggas see my face. They think I'm capping. They watch it for themselves. They're like, yo, it's just slap. Good evening. I still love my pop. I don't know if everything sounds good, but I mean, I know the music on the wall. Yeah, it's not. Ooh, it got a friend go. Most people are watching Invincible probably right now. Nobody else, yeah. I just do it, I'm all by myself. Yeah. Episode dropped like three hours ago. We had time to watch. But, but some people are reading it. Cause I don't want it. Some people are watching it. Like right now. On Twitch and shit, so. What's going on? What's going on? Alright. Me and Pat want to talk about some yiber. I watched the movie twice and a half. I saw it yesterday. Yes, so, sir. Just in case anybody you still haven't watched Demon Slayer, yeah. I think you'll like that. I mean, the anime is good. I can. I'll never. I'll never say shit about the anime. The anime is good. That that that, that chicken scratch. <laughs> we'll see. But um, I watched the movie. If anyone doesn't know, PlayStation fucked up. Sony messed up royally and posted it on their store where you can buy it. And you know, sure. you know, if you put something for point two seconds, that's a that's that might as well be an hour in internet time. We got it, screenshotted everything. It's gone, <laughs> so you can't run. So, so yeah. All right, man. You do take care. Um, and yeah, I watched it with my friend yesterday. I watched it with another one today. And well, I got through about half of it myself before before I had to watch that that um. That's I guess that second time with my friend. So I seen it about two and a half times. I thought the movie was good. I liked the movie. And I enjoyed it. Um, well animated, well voice acted, good emotional impact, all that stuff. I thought the action was good. Did it change my opinion overall on the arc itself? I have shifted a little bit on some things because there's there are things I didn't obviously didn't remember. But before I rap, I, I babble too much, Mister Pat, with a gun to my head. 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well now. Well now. <laughs> well now. Here we go. It's like I've always said. Here we go. These niggas come out the wazoo with all of these excuses, insults, slander material. It's carried by the animation. It's mid. It's not that good. But yet, when the movie dropped, the same people that said all these things went to go watch it. Hey, hmm. hey it cost me any money. So, <laughs> <laughs> you talking about y'all. <laughs> Look, man. I tried telling people the reason this series sells the way it does is because it focuses on family first and foremost, and that is a very big part of Japanese culture. It is a reflection of a time period in Japanese history that was really familiar for them. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, the characters look cool. They're likable. The action is good. It has good emotional moments. Niggas talk about it's good, but animation. So why the manga selling like hotcakes then? (laughs) Ain't no animation in manga. (laughs) <laughs> these things was feeding trying to get it Japan over here trying to restock they going out of stock as soon as they re-up like bro niggas was stealing they don't steal in Japan <laughs> they was stealing the fucking <laughs> manga trying to read that shit like come on man just just say that you don't understand why it's so popular why, why you gotta resort to saying that it sucks clearly it don't people watching it they reading it so yeah the movie dropped after a year of people telling me that it sucks, it's mid, whatever, it's carried by this and that, people switch day two and say, oh my gosh, the movie was fire. Man, maybe this series ain't that bad. Hold, hold on. Maybe I should get so-and-so to watch this shit with me. Nah, oh, when's fu- season two? The f- one I seen, uh, uh, the one that I saw was funniest is people who walked back their 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 original Rengoku takes. That I seen a lot. <laughs> Bro, when I, I read this shit and niggas read this shit, they said, oh my gosh, Rengoku was getting his ass whooped by Akaza. He's not that nice. The movie dropped. All they did was literally animate the panels. They they actually added like one, one scene. scene. One scene, I think. The, the, that air type scene. Literally. Right? Mm-hmm, that was it. That yeah. was the only thing that they added. Everything else, it was straight one to one adaptation with animation. Mm hmm. Now everybody talking about some Rengoku to go. I mean, I already knew this. He was my favorite Hashira, but just hearing people switch their tune, it's it's music to my ears. It 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 rejuvenates my soul <laughs> to see niggas know that they was wrong. I love it. Oh, this man's winning. I can't let him win. Um. Anyways, That's how it is. <laughs> I will. So here, so here, so so I'll speak for myself. He's speaking about other people. Here's what I'll say. Right. Not even hard on Yaiba. I'm really not. <laughs> I don't think about it. But <laughs> I'll I'll jab it here and there. I'll make some light fun. I I I feel the impact and weight of Rengoku's death. I think I think they did a much better job with it with the movie. I felt it more. I haven't really changed my opinion on, the, on his character, but I do think that he was like I do think that he had like a strong, even though it was like minimal, it was strong. I, I I'll walk that back. You win, you win there. I'll walk that one back. I didn't. I probably didn't. I probably didn't realize how much impact that had on Tanjiro and everyone else moving forward. I didn't realize how much impact that had because beating my I was, chest. I was. I was. I was. I was, I was, re, I was revisiting a couple of things because I'm just like I was just kind of like not doing much. Like you know, I was kind of like I work just kind of scroll through some shit. So I I had kind of reseen certain parts and certain arcs. And I had when I watched like the rematch with Akaza, I was like, "Oh, he's still talking about Kyoshiro, like you know, like he's still he's still talking about." It. I'm like, "Okay, so I, he he had he has like that lasting appeal." So I'll walk that back, and and I definitely didn't read. I didn't I didn't think he uh, fared as well as he did. Really taking it in in the manga, I don't, I didn't think he fared as well as he did. Um, he I think all things considered, he put up. A really good fight, and in my opinion, I think he put up a better fight than Mark Giyu did against him. And Giyu had Tanjiro, who was Hashira level at the time. Plus, he had that uh, the trans, the trans, the trans, the see through shit. You don't talk about the the, the X ray vision fucking yeah, sense. Yeah, transparent shit. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had that mm-hmm. right, the supreme territory, whatever the fuck he was talking about, or close to that. So, to me, 
don't don't get to if this was like the middle of the night, that was just a straight up loss. It's obviously the the fact that the sun was coming up and he was gonna try to kind of keep it in a gridlock until it came up, and he had to remove his own lips to escape. That it was what it was. But th- that all being said, a marked demon slayer to me didn't up a, 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 as much as a good fight as Rengoku did. And he's apparently not even there yet. You know, I think he would have eventually locked it, but he wasn't there yet. How yeah. do you feel about that? See, when Akaza first came to uh, Rangoku, he said it when he saw him. He was like, your fighting spirit is honed almost, mm-hmm. almost to the peak. If a, a few more weeks, months, days, years, he probably would have gotten his mark unlocked. Unfortunately for him, he had to run into Akaza. And it's not until later on, when they was talking about it before the final arc, they said to fight Upper Moon's three and up, it takes at least two Hashiras to take one down. Because mm-hmm. the top three, they've been around for thousands of years, almost as long as Muzan has been alive as a demon. So their blood is more potent. You can see how fast they regenerate, how quick they are to assess somebody's strength, their abilities. Like It's on a completely different level than the rest of the Upper Moon's and Lower Moon's and stuff like that. Now, if you want to argue that Giyu is weaker than Rengoku, I might have to agree because when Rengoku died and the crow was telling the message, you could see from the reaction of the Hashira, they're like, that nigga died? Like, they was completely shook. Like, that's, Uzui was like, bro. That's what I'm saying. Even Rengoku couldn't beat one of them niggas? Like, bro, goddamn. They, yeah. they strong as hell. And Giyu also had Tanjiro, like you said, who was right next to him. About that time, he was probably like, I'd say around as strong as Uzui was. He, okay, but like, okay, yeah, but he was, but he was pillar level. That's all I'm saying. He was, he was on, he could yeah, fight. Yeah, he's yeah. Hashiro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if I had to rank them, of course, Himajima is at the top. Probably have Tsunami at number two. Then you probably have to slide Rengoku at three, and then you put Giyu at four. I don't have Rengoku but that high. I have him at four or five. It's it's hard because I think the 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 what's the genius uh, the fourteen year old he did Muitro? something he did something that no one else did. Remember, you're not you're not supposed to be able to be the upper moon solo. You gotta give you gotta you gotta yeah, put respect on him he, for that. He, it was Upper Moon 5, I think, or was it 4? I don't know. The pot nigga. Trying to in the remember. pot. I remember him. The, the weird looking dude who cared about art. I only, I only remember him because I remember this one part where there was a guy who was making a sword and he was like, yo, he won't stop concentrating. You're pissing me off. That's why I laughed. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> you don't talk. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with this guy? So that's, I remember that part. I remember I was, cra- I was cracking up when I was reading that. So that's why I remember him. But I remember that. Like, yeah, he, he uh, got up the water shit and then he pretty much washed him yeah Muitro was nice I think he's top now. three four I think he's I think it's the the rock obviously your stone pillar what's the name Sajima you said Himajima Himajima yeah he's 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 the, mm-hmm. well, he's, he's the undisputed go I put the wind guy second because he fought against the first pillar pretty the, the pretty well even better than thing did even though he hit the comet's nerves and he's a little bit younger but still so I have him second mm-hmm. plus he has so you, you can't you can't um downplay and wasn't no actually no all three of them did that though I, and part of the reason why i always had those three at the top the snake guy it's hard to rank because i feel like he did really well against muza but he ain't needed anything else otherwise so i don't know where you would have him towards the middle of the pack or not. he's at the bottom really He's at the bottom. That's interesting yeah. to me because I thought because at the end of the day he 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 did the most work against the strongest person, snake guy, a blind guy. But I mean, the snake guy's like number five the blind guy's one. number one automatically. You can't put anyone above him because the strongest of strongest of characters are are literally agreeing with what like Tanjiro and um Borgang said like way back when. They're like, bro, I haven't seen somebody this refined or a strong on like a century or whatever the fuck it was when he, when they seen him. What's up, Mikey? So. He's the strongest. The snake guy, I actually do think he's in the upper echelon. I do. I, I have probably around five if I think about it. But anyway, so real quick. um, Because the rock guy, I remember, he beat the fuck out of a demon until the sun came up. 
the mm -hmm. other Before one got pissed and it started it. doing shit to it and the sun came up and then wind nigga he legitimately started just finding demons and he's killing them so those three were built different i'm sorry they're top three i that's the i one. i yeah. i rank Muichiro a little bit lower because he would have been the best one if he had blossomed because mm -hmm. he was only 14. He was younger, than, he, he was he's younger than he's younger than Tanjiro, right? And those guys, right? He's younger mm -hmm. than them. Yeah, yeah. He was old. And, and he was he was a descendant of Kokushibo, mm -hmm. uh, the Upper Moon One. Yeah. So he had the talent, but it just he didn't get a chance to reach it. Yeah. But um. Yeah. So, anyways, real quick, back to the movie. Um, I did not remember that. Um. Tanjiro, I forgot about that dream sequence thing. I'm like, yo, that was, I forgot, that was raw. That was raw. And I forgot how, like, how, like, the movie did it in a, in a good, in a sick way. I like how they portrayed it. But even you have to admit, I have never talked badly about Tanjiro. I always, yes. I, I've always said you, I like it. Listen, you've always respected my son. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and I always said you've I always especially him. like him in times of peace or training arcs and stuff. Like how he spoke to See, Giyu to get him to stop, like, beating himself up over things death. The guy, the ghost that trained him early, like, at the beginning mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Where I'm like, no, like, I've always liked Tanjiro as a character. But, yeah, um, that moment where he has to keep killing himself, I'm like, I forgot he did that shit. That was raw. That was raw to have to see it, like, to see it. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. Did he see your goat? The, the thing about Tanjiro that made him so special to me mm -hmm. was because at first... I was like, okay, he's a kind individual, a little bit overbearing, a little bit. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about him. But it got to a point where it was fighting demons. And then it was like, uh, like the first, the very first time that he had to fight a demon before he met uh, Oroki Daki, mm -hmm. he hesitated. And then the sun came up and Oroki Daki came. He slapped the shit out of him because he was like, if you hesitated and the sun was going to come out, what if he regenerated and killed you? And he learned from that. He never hesitated again after that. So I was like, okay, he's receptive. He learns. Number two, he didn't have, have much talent, but he worked and worked and worked and worked until he was able to somewhat have the water breathing technique down, even though it wasn't suited to his body. Mm -hmm. And another thing was he... Like, it's kindness, and then there's, like, just, wow. He is an amazing soul. Like, when they were on the train, this is one thing about the movie that I didn't like that they didn't include. Because the boy that was supposed to destroy his core, right? He went inside Tantra's oh, core. Oh, he started tweaking he saw those... in the sky, in the, in yeah. the calm sky shit, and, like, how it... Yeah, yeah, go ahead, sorry. Mm-hmm. Ahead. He went inside... Tundro's inner core led him to it and then like you know he was touched by that kindness but the narration didn't include the fact that one of those sprites from his core followed the boy back after he had already left the dream and it warmed up his heart from the inside and I was like wow this is actually really beautiful yeah and it's it's stuff like that where it's like he's kind but at the same time he knows that these demons gotta die like, yeah, you could talk to the demons, give them peace when they're dying, but it ain't going to be no, oh, you should stop what you're doing. Da, 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 it's not right. No. Demons, they bad. They got to die first. Then once they're dying, okay, we can talk about what happened. Mm -hmm. Where would you go? I'm still here. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you were. No, nah, I was I done. I, I thought I cut out, but yeah. Um, hold on. So, wait, Yatanjo was talking. She little kid, how sure is above the ninja right there with the water. Little kid. Oh, he's, okay. You talk about the fourteen year old. I read their names. The Mist Pillar. I don't know. I got. I got him at three. Um, no, Tanjiro was taught. Ta you know, all things considered, one thing that I always liked about this series, and I thought it did well, aside from like times of peace, I've always said that. I always said like Tanjiro. You know, I've always been a part of Boar Gang. But um, what I always liked about it is I always thought that it's progression and the way that it showed, like, um, 
the the progress of power and introducing characters at certain bring strength was done very well one thing i also appreciated about the moment where he gets he learns the hinokami kagura is that mm-hmm. he snaps him and nezuko legitimately power up in tandem and they snap and they can't beat the dude because he cut his own head off and as far as we're concerned this has been one of the strongest displays we've seen and you watch this nigga like it's nothing like you see him <laughs> like it was a walk in the park <laughs> emotionless 11 style lull and then he blink and then he oh he like you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of instances like that that i really like because you're seeing the characters do incredible things and overcome a lot but it's never i never find it too unbelievable tondra has some moments where i'm like this is like you know some main character stuff but most of the time i'm like no i like how this is done because you'll see inosuke go to work do his very best made that spider weird dude evolve to like his whatever form giyu kamash him so it's like okay, the the pillars are washing under uh, under moons, the lower moons, but the oh, upper moons mm-hmm. you need about three to take out one. Like you see, like, like so, like you see what I'm saying. Like we took out the strongest lower moon, boom, number three comes. Now you're seeing. Like I always thought that uh, what's the, what's the, what's the mangaka's name again? Kotoge. Yeah, Kotoge. I always thought that she was really good at that. I was I always felt that. Like even when I'm seeing a character like snap like Tanya like i'm snapping right now i'm using this fire god dash breathing and everything and it's like yo you could barely beat the girl the the, the brother is real like the real deal you know what i'm saying like i'm like he always been good at that where i always felt like the characters were never doing way more than they can chew and even when they did you could, teamwork it was like a moment where like they were, were like the character did something that the other character truly wasn't expecting like with akaza he t- Told him I'm coming. He said I'm gonna cut you. He turned over, couldn't feel his battle spirit, and still got his shit sliced. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I've always been good at that shit. I never, I've always said that though, because even I've always appreciated in the very last arc how pillars really started to drop. Like people just started to drop like flies. Like I really felt the the ramping up. It just that I felt that when we got to Muzan, it was really really underwhelming. I somewhat take back my opinion of um first. Upper Moon. It's not as bad as I remembered. Kokushibo. Yeah. I was, See, I, I told you it's not. It's, it's hard. It's not as bad. Yeah, well, cause, cause, you know what? The Wind Pillar and Rock, they get rock. <laughs> they gangster. <laughs> they gangster. <laughs> fuck. The Rock. The Rock nigga was always my favorite one, but um, him and um and the guy with wives, Uzui, I'd like them, but I think in hindsight, I'm not. A, I'm not a huge fan of him like that, but um, the Rock dude was always wives. my favorite. That nigga living right. Yeah, he like seven feet. He he's fucking brawling. Like, Moves in the fight was solid for me. Not great, but passable. I think what I I I, I didn't even fi- I technically still didn't even finish the manga. I might read the last few chapters today or five, whatever it was. But um, they really started losing me when like Tanjiro was dead. And I'm like, all right, dude. <laughs> I just checked out mentally and I hardly came back. But um. The the yeah you're right though the fight with the with the first pillar isn't as is isn't as bad as I thought and um the the flashbacks for 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 the demon for him I, I, I it was I, I forgot it was uh it, it was it tied back to his brother like that it was pretty good it's a good, it's a good mm-hmm. flashback but his brother was but his brother was od <laughs> he was the goat <laughs> that he, nigga was he's the strongest the goat, character bro. that you saw we saw in the series easily absolutely. He put fear in Muzan's heart for centuries to the point where if that nigga even saw those earrings again, he was like, oh, this, this nigga no, right no, 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 if you if he just gives you his DNA, you're not even you're not even moves down. You just have his his cells remember, nigga. You start hallucinating. You should not see it. <laughs> that still that man put the fear of God in him. He said, "Bro, I have to conquer the sun. <laughs> I gotta conquer the shit." Before I wanted to come, yeah. So yeah, his brother was fucking OD. Oh, uh, but yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, oh, this is what I want to ask you. Um, so, in your opinion, right? We'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do this two pronged a little bit. Okay. Did did Ren Goku win the fight? Yes or no? First of all, or did he win he by lost. or did he win by his own conditions by not letting anyone die? Like, no. Where, 
Where do you stand? Where positions. do you stand with that? Okay, I, I was wondering because you know how like Tandrio said, you know, you ran away, you abandoned the fight, the sun was coming, yada yada, you didn't beat him. He never let any die. Was his victory? You don't, you don't agree with that? It's it's one of those things where you don't want him to be seen as the loser because the, this I, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a tangent, but this is part of the reason why Rengoku's death hurt so bad. Because, for one, he gave Tanjiro a directive when they were on the train. He was like, look, the the train right now is a demon. It has a neck. But right now, these people are more important. And I'm trusting you to take out the demon. I know you can do it. Mm-hmm. He gave him that confidence that he needed to get the job done while he protected everybody on the train. Mm-hmm. And number two, he was a fire user. We've seen uh, Tanjiro use Hino Kamikagura, which was the dance of the sun god. So it was like, it kind of felt like Rengoku was going to be his new mentor, mm-hmm. help him explore the Hino Kamikagura a little bit in the coming arcs, help him get stronger because he used fire and Tanjiro kind of used fire. So it was like, oh, this is going to be a dope pairing in the future. Then this nigga Akaza show up. Mm-hmm. Nigga Akaza tried to kill Tanjiro immediately. Rengoku stopped that shit. Said, this boy right here, he's not weak. Just because he's not there physically yet, does not mean he's weak. He has determination. He has resolve. There's he different the ways of being strong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he told him, he was like, I'm not gonna let anybody die here. And living and dying as a human being is part of the beauty of life. It's what makes you human. There's nothing wrong with that. Being a demon is whack. <laughs> you won't be able to see the sun come up. You have to live your life so that you have no regrets. The nigga was literally spit into a cause before you started fighting him. Now, granted, if another pillar had showed up, the fight probably would have been a lot different than what it did. Mm-hmm. But he said he wasn't going to let nobody die. He died. So he lost. <laughs> like, I, I'm sorry, bro. That's my oh, you, too, oh, so you're like, saying like him dying counts if someone died. Okay, I got you. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay. he said, I'm not letting anybody here die. Like he protected all the passengers. Yes. But in the end, he didn't protect his own life. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck. If he had lived, he probably would have been able to beat Akaza the second time. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. So hold on. He said top rank. Okay, Hashira. He said stone, wind, serpent, water, mist, flame, sound, insect, love. I think Shinobu is the weakest. I think you have to, I think you have to put her last because yeah, she Shinobu literally, had those. she's literally incapable of decapitate. Not unless she won't do it. She can't do it. So she has to use supplemental. So I know it makes her dangerous yeah, in a different type of way. Strength. Yeah. But she literally she literally I, and I would put um I actually would put um is it Mitsuri? What's the love, the love pillar thing? What's her name again? Yeah, Mitsuri. Yeah, putting I would, her. At I would last, put. I would put her. Wrong, by yeah, the way. yeah, because she has like the compressed muscular structure and flexibility and mm-hmm. stuff. So she has insane physical strength. I would probably put her seventh. I actually would put the sound guy eighth. The sound pillar. I don't think he was impressive, all things considered, and I think he knows that. I think he always wanted to retire. And with his three wives, and when he, mm-hmm. and when that dude was calling him like, "Oh, you're probably blessed," but this and that and the third, he's like, he he thought about the stone pillar and the mist guy. Like, no, those guys are abnormalities. I'm not dead. And like to me, the reason why he was probably as competent as he was is because he was a shinobi before he was a demon slayer. I don't know if you agree with yeah. that. You know, I'm no, a, I I I'm definitely a, agree because he I'm he had some he had high physical strength, he had good like deductive reasoning abilities and stuff like that, but his techniques left a little bit to be desired, and he was he was struggling I guess the, really the really weakest. badly with upper moon six, <laughs> and he had a lot of help. 
He had his yes. wives. He had the he had the ta- well, I guess the ta- I, the, I was I was called the Tanjiro t- 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 trio. I'm sorry, Bor gang and his two subordinates, <laughs> his three subordinates. <laughs> like he had a lot of help, and they Me barely too. got peace, out of that. Peace. And there was hella, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you for the subscription. Oh shoot, yeah, Young Abdel, what's going on? We just talked up some some Yaiba in the movie. So yeah, that don't um, that don't make us like him any less though. He got three wives. He raw. Yo, no, I like him. Yeah, he's he's still that dude. But like, yeah. At the end of the day, if you're a Hashira, you're still the strong. You're one of the strongest. You just I'm just talking comparatively to the other ones. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, uh, yeah. So I would go Stone Wind Miss personally. Then I probably put. Uh, I want to put a Red Goku, but I I I I was impressed with a snake. I don't tell you. <laughs> he expressed me impressed me in that last point. I think I have Regoku 5 4 though. 5 4 interchangeable. I definitely have Shinobu last. I have Uli at 8th. Then I will put uh, Mitsuri. So I have Giyu at 6th then. So that's that's probably how I'd. Uh... Man, you put Giyu at 6th? But hey. I was not impressed. Sinemi kind of viewed him as his rival though. Yeah, but what do we see though? <laughs> what did, what what, did your what eyes you tell mean? you? What do you mean? That 11th form? Akaza was like, holy shit, I ain't never seen this before. And then do- Tanjiro, <laughs> Tanjiro dodged whatever attack was coming at him, and he got hit with it. His lull couldn't, dodge all of it, couldn't, couldn't protect it from all of it. I think Tanjiro was stronger than him in that moment. Sorry. No, 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 no. No, that, in that, the moment when he was channeling the <laughs> see-through world, he was stronger than Giyu. But he can't maintain it. That moment, he was stronger than him. You don't, you don't agree? Oh, okay. Okay, if you if you're talking like that, yes, yeah, I thought yeah. you meant like during that fight. No, 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 no. no. I was about to I'm say. Not, I'm not. I, I like you. He's my, he's one of my favorite characters. I'm not, I'm not trying to downplay him. I just don't. I genuinely was like, did he actually like? I'm like, wait a minute. He got. He talked about. Oh, you slapped me so hard. My senses went to the max and beyond. And I'm like, okay, you got the mark, and you still losing. He, like he's not like. Remember how when things fighting, he was like, Kojiro, Ko- honey, Kojiro, come on with deep, yo, he's like, oh, you're raw, let's, yo, let's be deep into the scrap, like, he was not giving Giyu that respect, son, he, 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 he definitely, <laughs> he definitely was not as impressed fighting Giyu than, than he was fighting, um, Rengoku, I'm sorry, I don't think, I don't think he was as, his topper, upper echelon thing, but I do think that his own mentality held him back, because he always felt inferior, I think that was his own pro- his own issue, but how you get the power up and you still you, and as far as I'm concerned, you're not as showing up as a dis- um as a, a wow impressive display as Rengoku did. Again, I know Rengoku had the sunrise on his side to help him out, but still, bro, you have to consider that he went through whatever you know mental or emotional turmoil he had to go through the dream sequence, right? Then he defended mm. five carts and two hundred passengers. <laughs> Before he even, so he's really hella breaths and all that stuff. Before he even had to fight that dude, I don't know, man. More impressed with Rengoku in hindsight. Hey, I'm you think Rengoku is stronger? I'm not gonna bother me. That's my goal. <laughs> <laughs> he's dope. Why well, he's alive? Yes, that's my goal. Uh, three wives that's future me for real. Hey, that's, that's a lot of work for me. That's one one. <laughs> Usui, is that a top <laughs> Like those, everyone else built like Gaimon. <laughs> Nigga in a box. Um, my favorite characters were what? Who? Uh, if you asked me originally, a power selection like Shinobu, Gi, whatever, 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 whatever. Now it's Rock Nigga. <laughs> Sorry, say his name. Same name again. I, I, I think his name. I think his name. The Rock. The Rock. He the made Jima, bro. He, he made Jima. He he raw. Um, not gonna hold you. I did not like the Wind Pillar at all until his fight against. Uh, Against the uh, number one, yeah. Super movie. At first, I was like, "Bro, why he's such a dickhead?" Yeah. <laughs> like, I yeah. was so confused. Yeah. <laughs> but that moment when he was like, you know, like God, please don't take my brother. I felt that. I felt so bad for him. And honestly, I took, I took back everything. I'm like, damn, I feel bad for him. I'm sorry. I'm so that sorry. That shit hurt. That hurt it. That hurt that, it. That's a, that's I said that though. I said it hurt this it. Series, bro. It, it. it always cuts me deep every time. <laughs> like, uh. I'll be like, damn! I just want to see some happy stuff. Mm-hmm. They said, "Wind, Wind, Hashira, younger brother is Garbo." I like Genzo. What's his name? Genzo. What's his name again? Genji. Genya. Genya. Yeah, it's Gen something. Did y'all talk about Red Goku yet? I mean, yeah. I mean, like, we can do it again if you don't. If you want, we need it, Joni. We can do it again for you. 
for me. We spoke yes, about sir. it already. But um, I always talk about my goat. But um, yeah, my my one friend wasn't wasn't he he wasn't he wasn't too impressed with with him, but I had to show him like all the things that Rengoku really did because like I had to show him a couple of manga panels because I remember I remember them not showing certain stuff because I was like, wait a minute. He's like, bro, how's the girl not dead yet? I'm like, he's not. I'm like, I'm like, I know they didn't say anything, but he's subconsciously not going to kill her because she's human. Most most of them are like that. They 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 literally defend people. They don't kill people. Cause I think the yeah, mo- the the movie left out a lot of narration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember he when she's gonna break his spiritual core, he instinctively chokes her, but he just stays in the gridlock mm-hmm. where she can't hurt him, but he won't kill her until he woke up. By the way, do you know how they woke up? How do they wake up? I know, uh, I think the only people that I understand how they actually woke up was Tanjiro and, um, and, uh, Borgang. Borgang, okay, his so... subconscious was in his whatever area, and I just think, I just think that he was too stupid for the technique to work that long <laughs> on him. He was too dense for it to work, and he had the explosive awakening. I don't know how the rest of them woke up. I may, they probably might have did what they had to do, but I didn't see it, so I'm just wondering. Go ahead, though. So, with... When Nezuko severed the the bonds between them, mm. it allowed their subconscious to get back on track. So, like you said, with Inosuke, he don't have much of a brain to begin with. So he was gonna wake up eventually. Mm-hmm. Zenitsu didn't wake up at all because yeah, he's oh you're right. He literally he's... uses his technique yeah, <laughs> when he's sleeping. You're right. You're right. That's fair. He did say this guy didn't even that... break it. <laughs> you're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. I guess that's, that's why Rengoku it took Rengoku. Rengoku yeah, he was the last one to wake up. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was still the first to defend himself, technically. But seeing mm-hmm. that all, seeing Tan- Tanjiro have to figure that out, like, through the movie, was nice because, like, I probably didn't absorb it the same way reading it. But I'm like, he's like, all right, that's cool, let's go. And he looks to his back and he's like, wait, I'm carrying wood. What fuck am I talking about? And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I don't know if I, know, I could right? ever <laughs> figured out to kill myself, though. That's, that's, a, that's crazy, though. That nigga was in his dream. He talking to his little brothers and sisters. He was like, where Nezuko at? He was like, they, she wants to go to the mountains. He was like, in, in broad daylight? daylight? To like, and they were like, she is she not, not supposed to? to? <laughs> like, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Kano Suyuri might be my fave. Oh, she's dope. That's the sister of Kotro and the other one, Sanae, right? Yeah, she's dope. I actually think... Mm-hmm. Might be a hot take. Think that uh she I, she impressed me more than um the other three, and you know I love you know I love you know I love Inosuke, but I felt like he, he was supporting in that fight and she was the lead. Granted, oh she had she had the information because she knew because this was this guy killed both of her sisters technically, so she knew more going into it. But um, I was very impressed with what she did. But even so, but even as um a regular demon slayer, whatever you want to call them. She was the one that helped train them to get to the next level. She was stronger than them, so she's always been very impressive to me. U- ultimately, yeah, I actually Kanal to... was pillar level. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, 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 she was master on that. Was wild when Tanjiro almost killed himself in real life, getting carried away. Oh yeah, I, I was, I was that, which was strange to me, because like, I'm a, I'm, is it called lucid dreamer? I'm, I'm, I'm able, like, it's when my dreams are wacky, I could tell it's a dream. I've always been, a, I've been able to do that since I was like. Be seventeen ish, so like if some mm. su- supernatural happens, I immediately know it's a dream. I can't always control myself, but I could use. I can. I can't always control everything else around me after the fact, but I can usually control my own actions once I know that. But I don't. Know, I, I guess the guy just tricked him into like you know doing enough times that he probably just was almost gonna do it in real life because I was like, you're on the train now, like you're not even in like the nightmare world that he's trying to show you where your family's berating you. But yeah, see, the the problem was when Tanjiro fights, he does a lot of inner dialogue. Mm-hmm. So when he fell asleep the first time, he was like, I have to wake up immediately. Mm-hmm. So he was talking to himself. He was like, all right, in order to wake yourself up, you have to cut your own neck. And then when he woke back up, the eyes were right in front of him again. So it was like, fuck, I need to wake up with my eyes closed. Oh, so then when right, he right, woke right, right, up right, right, with right. his eyes closed, he thought he was still dreaming. Okay. Look at you. Pay attention. There you go. That was why with Kano Kano definitely better than Zenitsu and Inosuke. See, Zenitsu, it's hard to say. 
I wouldn't say Zenitsu. Because Zenitsu Inosuke, sh- yes. straight up a beat. I know he was a new and he was a bottom, but he straight up beat that guy. And I would I don't know if you I don't know if you agree with this. But I think I think um Zenitsu could have beaten him almost off the rip, but he had to kind of seal himself to be like, no, he's gone, he's really lost. Master, grandpa type beat, I gotta put him down. I feel like he wasn't as much as he came ready for the smoke, I felt like he still had to kind of build the resolve slowly to actually kill him. I don't know if you agree with that. Yo, I think he could have watched him that seven last arc. That, that shit was hard, bro. Mm. <laughs> the setups for those last fights was hard. He got he got the best one v one as far as I'm concerned, or at, at least one v one v one victory, one v one victory. I'll put it that way. It it probably. I will say that the setup wasn't the greatest because we we didn't know who he was Mm -hmm. up until the fight started. If we had known the context going into the fight, it probably would have hit a lot harder. But I I agree with you, actually. He he probably could have watched him immediately. I'm going to push back on that for one reason, one reason alone. I think it was enough to see how emotionally charged Zenitsu was of all people. Fighting consciously, talking shit, shit talking. Yo, he's talking smack. His, he's not playing. When like, his eyes were open, yes. that shit hit different. That's what, <laughs> so. So while I, 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 I actually hear you and I agree with that, but I felt like his seeing him was enough because I'm like, wait a minute, he he awake, he talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> he talk about too slow? I'm like, who is this? <laughs> who, the, who the fuck is this nigga? So, you gotta... You gotta put respect. It's, 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 it's something peace, special. Peace. That, that moment. Zodiac, six months. My guy, I appreciate it. I gotta, um... I'm gonna change these badges sooner or later. I gotta get the... I know you could change your badges for, like, something longer and shit. I'm just, I'm just a fraud of what I do. But, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but, yeah, um... I, I forgot what I was saying, but yeah, she was. Oh yeah, Zenitsu, Yeah, he. So I, I actually think Zenitsu, yeah. I I would put him under um Tanjiro, and I would put Kana Kana Kana. But I, I think you, I think Kana. But I think you could you could kind of debate it because if you want to go under the rhetoric that like oh if he had more time to develop his demon blood arts or whatever whatever he would have been more formidable. My pushback is, did you think Zenitsu was just not gonna get stronger in a year? Because remember that one guy was like, you're lucky he's new. And he's like, bro, he, he would have gotten stronger too. And his and he wa- bro, and he wanted smoke with this guy specifically. So as far as I'm concerned, Zenitsu was always um, well equipped to beat that that guy specifically. So that nigga was always trash because he couldn't do the first form, and the first form was literally the most potent one of the lightning breathing style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The rest of them was just like support attacks. Zenitsu was able to do the first one, and he fucking mastered it. He was able to ramp it up to six volt. And Godspeed. Yep. So, yeah. So, but I, I think, but 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 the kind of respect, uh, I like to see that because I I do think that she's dope, and I don't I don't really see people talk about her too much. So she was, she was. Yo, cool. they they Kanao and Shinobu was talking fucking spicy the Upper Moon too. <laughs> yeah. Doma, they was talking shit to that man. <laughs> I don't when even. When he finally died, he yeah. was like, "Is this what death is like?" And she was like, "Go to hell, shithead." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "You're pretty. I like you." And he's just talking to smack. And she was just like, "You go. You don't feel nothing. I, I did call you smart, but you're not even smart. Could you? Should you just? Should you just die?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> that's so hard." <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones. I, oh, I I don't know how you. I never I never really liked the the Inosuke part though of that of that fight. I actually ne- I still don't like it. The flashback. I have no problem that he's met the mom because I just felt it was just like to me I felt like a forced connection. I don't know if you I don't know if you if you felt the same. way. I always felt that tying his mom into this fight with Doma was forced. I get it because he thought Shinobu was the one who sang, sang the lullaby and she who has beef with him so it kind of all comes full circle but I felt like his insertion was not necessary there um I didn't like it I I I, I, I didn't I, need it for I him I can see where you're coming from more gang out man we by the by the wild baby <laughs> I see where you're coming from because the connection between Canal and 
I mean, not now. Between Shinobu and Inosuke was there from the beginning because, like, that was literally the only person he would listen to. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I, it makes sense that Gotoge would try to, like, warp the two of them together to this one upper moon. And it gave it a little bit of, like, an emotional weight to it when he came to the fight and he was like, Shinobu dead? I'm gonna fucking kill this bastard. Mm-hmm. But I, I definitely understand the complaints because it felt like he didn't get a chance to showcase what he had learned up until going up until that last fight like Zenitsu and Tanjiro did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I felt like it's cool to, like, it's cool that he got to have that kind of little connection the mom or whatever and everything but I just felt like he was one of those characters who didn't never ne- never really needed a moment like that based on who he was and how he lived but I just felt like oh so he's also got now he has some like forced beef with like this Doma guy I don't know I didn't like it I never liked that part but the fact that he got his 1v1 against the upper moon made me sad I was one or or to do more maybe also made me sad but I also kind of think it's a little bit brilliant because I think we expect that and the one we didn't expect was Zenitsu. Like, of all people who got to watch Upper Moon, <laughs> it was Zenitsu. <laughs> I think that was part of the surprise. So, I'm, and, the, and the fact that, like, Morgang had to actually be part of, like, a support role, more so than him getting his 1v1, despite the character is, I think that was intentional. But, yeah. Um, I, I, I get that. Yeah. But, um... Do you, wait, so... Do we know if they're doing? They're not doing another movie for the next arc, right? Do we know if we're going back? To, we're going back to anime, no, no, or we don't? Or, do, or we have no news? No news of anything yet. Yeah, and hey, we're going back to anime. Season okay. two is supposed to drop later this year. We don't have a date yet. Okay. But it's going to be the entire Red Light District arc. Okay, I like that arc. That's probably my favorite arc. So we'll see what happens. Um. Um. All things considered, though, I think that I think making this a movie was smart. I think. Like let's say let's say the rest of the Yaba movie is the Yaba movie the Yaba animation are all like anime instead of their movies. I think giving Ren Goku a movie because of like how shorter his role is, but you kind of giving him that emphasis and that moment to shine will kind of elevate how important he is in the minds of the um the anime watchers. Because I felt that it was very easy as a manga reader to not care about him. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. I was fucking crying when I was reading that shit. I, 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 I did it. I had tears for the manga and the anime. That shit hit me like a bus. <laughs> they said red light, this shit gonna break the internet. I'll say this. Hit, um, him in that moment where his mom was like, you know, whatever, that was, that was touching. That was touching. Nigga. That was touching. <laughs> that being said, I still hold that most of those demon backstories when they were dying did not hit or I didn't care enough. Um, with the exception of, I mean, that's fair. The first pillar, not because of him, because his brother is just raw, and I want to know more about him. <laughs> so, um, and then Akaza, Akaza's one was dope, and 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 I I think we both think he's the best antagonist, right? Yes, no. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. It's like he he was always he was always great. Um, but see, it, it's it's what I'm saying is like the series itself is a representation of the struggle of maintaining your humanity. Mm-hmm. That's what these backstories are for. So it's it's to tell you, like, demons don't just pop out the ground from nowhere. They're taking advantage these of... These people, yeah, they, they were people at one point in their lives. They either had a shitty life or they had a bad encounter or something went wrong, and then they come across Muzan and they become demons. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to see when... Uh, Tanjiro acknowledges this because you know at that first time when Giyu was there he was like bro don't pity a fucking demon and then Tanjiro was like look I understand we have to kill demons but at one point these demons were people you still have to have compassion for the souls of people or else everybody is going to be a demon Mm -hmm. that's how they got into the situation in the first place and I feel like because that theme is so prevalent in the series that's why uh zenitsu's fight hit so fucking hard because they were both from the same teacher and they were supposed to be raised as brothers while they were learning the lightning style and one of them gave in to his fucking weakness which by the way 
tied back into Himajima's backstory because he was the one who snitched on him when he fucking protected him from the demon and said that they were scared of him that he attacked them or whatever Mm -hmm. and had him thrown in jail all those years. So you've seen that this was his personality from day one. And when he was offered a moment of weakness, he took that shit and became a demon. Yeah. You know, you're right. That is a common that is a common thing. Like, um, it's almost like the fight to keep your humanity or being willing to throw it away in the pursuit of something greater and then losing sight of that very thing. Because mm-hmm. Kaza's strength was to protect and save his dad and he met the dojo dude who he fell in love with his daughter and then they poisoned the shit and then I remember I remember I I, I remember all that, right? So and then he just kinda yeah, yeah he kinda lost it. But um the the backstory for um for Rengoku was good because I forgot about his dad. I completely forgot about his dad and his brother. I completely forgot about it. I forgot that that family is usually the flame pillar family. So and his dad actually um kind of somewhat got back into the fray of things after th- cuz Disney doesn't, doesn't he help defend the uh, what's his name son after he passes away the dude went like crazy not crazy he went blind and shit and his son was like the successor in the last arc the shit on his head I think him and yes, Uzui Uwe, yeah, shaky. They were, yes they were outside the the dojo or whatever temple and like guarding it so he kind of came back into the fray yeah he he was a former Hashira so mm-hmm. he was kind of raw but yeah. After fighting demons for so many years, that nigga lost his edge. He was like, "Man, fuck this." <laughs> like, I don't blame him, bro. There was so many fucking demons. Yeah, he's probably like, he's probably fed up. But all right, seeing all his friends die and shit, yeah, that 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 fuck me up too. Mm-hmm. All right, now because I have, I don't think I've ever gotten a chance to speak about the end of the series too too much. How does it? How does it end? End. Okay, so you said the last thing you saw was Tanjiro died, right? No, no. I remember when um, Muzan was getting uh, all the shit that she put in him was making him age and slow down. And he had become the demon king at one point because he poured the blood into him. And Nezuko called like, I, rem- I vaguely remember all of that. But I was like in that final stretch. Actually, I saw him go down. I saw Muzan lose, technically. I just didn't read a single thing after that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, the, so the, you, the, the literal, like, epilogue or, like, you know, afterwards, I didn't see any of it. <laughs> okay, so you you saw the end, but, but you didn't see the post-ending. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what you're telling me. Yeah, so go ahead and tell so, me. I'll, I'll, read it, I'll read it. I'll read it later, though. I'll read it. I'll just finish it. It, it, it was a nice... The, the, the final chapter was pretty good. So, basically, what happens was... Tanjiro, you know, escapes and into Nezuko Canal as well. They go, go back to Tanjiro's uh, house. They pray at their family grave and stuff like that. Then eventually they like recuperate for a little while because, you know, after every major conflict, they always had to recuperate. This one was no different. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, Canal and Tanjiro get married. Zenitsu and Nezuko get married. And they flash forward into the future a little bit. Oh, I said a little bit. A lot of it. Basically to a modern era. We see their descendants and like reincarnations of the pillars and stuff. Mm-hmm. Living in present day Japan. Having normal lives and saying at the end this was what uh, Tanjiro and the rest of the Hashira fought for. A world without demons and stuff like that. So it was pretty nice. Mm-hmm. I guess. They said, they said all the Hashira die except the ninja. Didn't Giyu live? That, did I see, I don't no, know. Giyu lived. Giyu and Tsunami lived. I, was say, I, I, I remember a couple of them living. I remember being like, well, Giyu on left, uh, lived? I guess I would because at the time he was probably my favorite character. So, I uh, only rock nigga made it to the end. The GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> He's the GOAT. I like the way he will Talk into the first, the first nigga. He's like, wait a minute, wasn't there somebody who lived past twenty five and pissed him off? <laughs> oh, bitch ass. I have no respect for that nigga. The first pillar, uh, he's easily the one I have. I I think is the is the most pathetic. But he knows that, and he went out that way, like which I appreciate. He knows that. 
Nigga is just jealous of his fucking brother. What a loser. God, I have no respect for him. Talking about, I'll just refine my sword skills. And you still got washed when that nigga was 80? He could have put you down in one hit. He didn't want to kill you because you, 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 were, you were his brother. He held back. I'm convinced. He could have sliced through his uh, neck easily. Yeah, that was literally If it, you bro. washed <laughs> Muzan like that in the hit, you could have killed your fucking brother in one hit. I'm not trying to hear it. He didn't want to do that it. That nigga pulled up to his brother and he was crying because he was like, damn. Mm-hmm. Not my brother, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Not my brother. Yeah. Not like this, he said. But um, yeah, he was pathetic. I didn't like the second upper moon. Like he, like he was sinister and evil and stuff. I just didn't. I never gravitated towards him like that. Um, nah, see, he he was an exceptional case because he was just one of those that was a piece of shit as a demon and, and as human. a person. Because yes. I remember so laughing when, when he became a demon, nothing changed. Yeah, I remember really like laughing at one point when he, like his mother like stabbed his her like his dad violently, and he's like, "Look at all this fucking blood." I'm like, "Dog, <laughs> that's what he's worried about." Like, bro, it's a fucking mess in here. <laughs> I started laughing. I'm like, bro, this kid is seeing dead bodies and his mom having a damn near mental breakdown, killing his. Dad. What is his thought? There's just blood on my carpet, dog. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's the last cause. He's the last cause. He's the last cause. He's the last cause. I'm getting washed by naked and never tired. <laughs> yeah, that guy was lost from the get go. But, um, end of the day, it was a good movie. I did, I mean, I'm not a you. Euph- Full stand to the degree that most people are. I'm, I'm not as I don't hate them the way Simi does, but <laughs> I'm, I'm like well, he's not he hates them, but he's not like a big fan. But like I'm somewhere in the middle. I think they do good. I think there's good and there's bad. There's some things I like about UFO table. UFO UFO table. My friend says it. UFO table. <laughs> but um, no, nah, it was good. I actually would argue with this movie. I don't think it did the thing where I felt like the movie went up in quality to a crazy degree. Where I felt like it had the stampede, the One Piece stampede kind of um thing. Yeah, like, it, it, this it, wasn't the visually the movie wasn't nothing crazy that I hadn't seen during the anime first season. Yeah, it was pretty much on par with it. It was just it was just staying consistent for two hours, mm-hmm. like at that high quality, like no dips in quality. It stayed at this high, this peak, you know, because I because like I said, like remember I was said stampede is like usually with the anime movie. Always looks better than the anime. Where to me, I felt like it's this was the anime staying at its highest quality of animation for a, for a two for a two hour running time. It didn't like, take it to the next level that I would say like the Heaven's Fields movies for like uh, Fate Stay did for Fate Stay Night something like that. Where I think that looks better than the anime. Like clearly yeah, they those, sacrifice those movies. They're they're they phenomenal. Sacrifice some people <laughs> and use some blood demon or some demon art to, for that. Oh, I didn't. I, I never asked. What's your what, what do you, what's your general thoughts on Nezuko as a character? And then we can kind of wrap it up. I, I don't know if we ever spoke about that because I, I, uh, yeah. I, I find myself caring about Nezuko, but never being that interested in, in Nezuko as a character. But also acknowledging how fucking useful Nezuko is with her burning blood and shit. Like she's mad useful. I wanted the best for her. Wanted her to be good. But I can't say I ever took a major inch, a major like emotional. You know, liking to her character in that sense. See, Nezuko is like one of those characters where when I'm reading the series, I'm like, okay, she's cute, she's cool, I like her. But I don't know how much I like her until she's in danger. And then I'm like, oh, sh- shit. And it's, I think it's more to do with the fact that I'm more concerned with how this is going to affect Tanjiro as fucked up as that sounds, then how it's going to affect Nesco. Because she was a demon for the majority of the series. Mm-hmm. So, like, when she'd get cut up and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, she'll just grow that limb back. She'll be fine. But mm-hmm. it's at the point where, like, oh, she's actually about to die. Like, the end of the Swordsmith Village arc, when Nesco was outside and the sun was coming up, I was like, yo! Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what's going on? And then she conquered the sun. I was like, wait, what? She, she, she said, like, good morning or some shit, right? Or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember. That was that was dope. That was probably when I was like, oh, shit, let's go. I remember that. Dope. Yeah, Again, she, she's cool. She I, never, I, never, I never disliked her. her. never disliked her. I just never, mm-hmm. I never took a liking to her to that degree. Um, 
That'll be. <laughs> I actually have to. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I wanted to do it just as a, as a joke, but I, I couldn't do this. So it's a little bit of a funny story. My friend was going crazy with the fight when Akaza and Rengoku were fighting. Mm-hmm. And I almost, I almost said, you know, none of this shit is happening. Like, the fire is not. Uh-huh. I I couldn't do it though. You having too much fun. I couldn't. I couldn't do. I couldn't spoil it for him. Like honestly, I hope he never finds out. <laughs> Cause he be snapping when he see the water and the dragon and this and that, and he be going crazy. And I'm like, I want. I kind of want to burst his bubble, but look how happy he is. Let me not. <laughs> Imagination no yaiba type beat. Let me not do that to him. But I mean that that kind of stuff never bothered me. I don't know why it bothered so many people. Cause it's like. It's just a visual representation of their sword skills. Like, don't you always say, show me, don't tell me? That's what she doing. No. <laughs> She's showing don't you do the that. representation this, of things. I'm hey, trying to see some supernatural shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. This ain't for the tennis we just invade. You guys invade like fire. Like, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> At the end of the day. The way the anime portrays it, that shit is fire though. Like, you can't get mad at it. It looks good. It looks really good. I like with like the little like lights, like uh, whatever, whatever. But, nah, it's funny because again, I told you I had a feeling, but one day conf- when she confirmed, I'm like, no, don't ever, don't do that. <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> no, it really, it really isn't a big deal in hindsight. It's just funny to be now at this point because I could make the joke. But I was like, listen, I, yeah, I think that was. How right. about? No, I'm Canadian, so I'm I, like, I was just gonna say I think that's that's one of the uh, reasons why people flipped on the series as much as they did when they found that out. And I was like, bro, she said this like three volumes in that it's not real, and then y'all just now found out because somebody asked her again. I'm with you, Mikey. <laughs> so, like, what's in my head, Canada, that's your real son. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, he blocking that shit with a flyer. I don't what no one told me. <laughs> he uh, even if it has to be like he's not actually like you know, he, like you know just like actually creating fire, but the friction of the sword so fast, you know. I be like I I'll take that, <laughs> I'll take that. So it's real to me too. I feel it. But it was a good movie. It, it was really good. I liked it through. Um, the action was really good. Oh, real quick, because my friend my friend asked me this, but I didn't know I didn't know what to tell him because I'm like. Honestly, I'm not a Yaiba expert, and as much as you know, in those case, my favorite character, I, I'm in the series. I, I forgot he's my favorite character somehow. I kept saying it was the Stone Pillar. He's second. I'm sorry, but <laughs> Bor- <laughs> what the fuck? Borgang has always been number one. Fuck, am I talking about? But yeah, I'm like, I don't actually think he's as strong as like I would want him to be or thought he was gonna be. Because one thing I thought was super impressive is that if you create your own style, I think that's impressive, right? Mm-hmm. The sun, the sun breathing was was my thing. I, th- I can't remember who else invented their complete own style, but I was like, bro, this dude just invented an entire breath style. I know, I think it's, I think it was the derivative of the wind or close to the wind, but they could just create an entire like ten form fighting style by himself. Like that to me was impressive, and I felt like that payoff for that never came full circle to that degree. There's moments, obviously, because his natural instincts to avoid the game and stuff like that you see it you know like even when he's fighting Doma he could just sense the chill a little bit and he's not getting his lungs frozen like no more like it's there I'm not gonna say she didn't portray it but I always felt like the fact that he created an entire st- fang b- beast style by himself was impressive and it never kind of like manifested that's just me being a butthurt in those fan don't take that too seriously that's a nitpick nah you, you're right because the only other people that created their styles was Yorichi and Kokushibo, they literally created Sun and Moon. Mm-hmm. And everything else, literally everything else, is a derivative of that. Yeah. Or so. taught to them by Yoichi because he was like, people couldn't do the sun, so he taught them like wind, stone, and then that's how that got passed on, water. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. You have any final words for the people? Thank you guys for kicking it for, speaking with us for, for an hour and some change. Uh, just fucking Hashira ranking. So, Ooh. number one, Himajima. Number two, Sanemi. Number three, Ren Goku San. Number four, Giyu. Number five, 
Oichiro, number six. Mitsuri, number seven. Number seven. This is where it gets kind of hard. I guess I'd say Uzui. Mm -hmm. And then number eight, Iguro. Number nine, Shinobu. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think you know. Oh, what, what, what's your favorite style? Like, off to that, by the way. I mean, you already know. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> All things Chris. Cons- Goku, fire goat. <laughs> Mine is actually. Uh, visually, it's the moon one. I like the crescents and the slashes. Ooh, yes, yes. I can't wait to to see that animated. It's yeah. going to go crazy. Yeah, all things cuz like I have no respect for that nigga, but all things considered, the moon the moon shit looks good. But I nigga. Wrong. When when he pulled out that long ass blade and that double spread, mm-hmm. oh my god. That shit was so raw. Oh yes, yes, yes. And um No, that's probably it's not that's probably my answer. It's probably moon. I like I like I like the uh water my element, so I was like water. So water probably right after that, or tied for it. But then I'll probably say the um the fire, the sun, the sun shit, or fire god dance, whatever. You know, the Kagura, because um the moon is sort of obviously the best two, and then I guess the original, you know, derivatives of the sun. Then it's all the other ones, because I don't know, I don't know if we could really rank them, because I get, I think it's based more so on utility and how you apply it, but um. Obviously, the sun is the best one because it helps you not regenerate and shit. But hey, good movie. We'll see how they handle the red light track. And my guy with three wives, he got them hoes, baby. Because we go. Yeah, I like him. I like I like his personality, flamboyant. Y'all here. Um, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting in my mind. I, I I'm trying not to end the stream before I say it, but if it doesn't come to me in like ten seconds, <laughs> I'm about to hit stop streaming. I feel like mm-hmm. I, I feel like it had something to do with Akaza in comparison to the other the other upper moons, but I just can't remember at all. Mm. All right, thanks. I'm out.